on the information I gathered from older men who had successful marriage with a Filipina, they said, Filipina wives are loyal, caring, faithful, loving, sweet, funny, serious when it comes to relationship, crazy, but it's worth it. And it seems a lot of comments agree. Filipinas are the best. Married 11 years. It looks like this case is closed. I'm sorry dude, I thought I would have more to tell you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Okay, wait a minute. I don't want to leave you hanging and after all, this could lead to a big commitment. So let's start at the beginning and sadly, I have to tell you some bad news. I spent weeks interviewing Filipinas, listening to podcasts and speaking to expats and the results? I was more confused than ever. One, where can you meet a decent Filipina? Two, should you bring her back to the US, Australia, the UK and what's the legal process? Three, why not not settle down with a younger Filipina. Is it just me or is dating not as simple as it used to be? Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you show the viewers a video for the moment? Because I'm getting seriously stressed out here. I am just too old for. This may be controversial, but I don't care. Number one is drinking for the sake of pakikisama. No, I will not take that tequila shot. Number two, I am too old to post cryptic messages or cryptic quotes sa social media ko. I am too old for telling stories that aren't mine to tell to begin with. Number four, I am too old to care about job titles. But number five, I am too old to be tolerating toxicity in the family. So why should you date an older Filipina? Well, the good news is you don't have to. You and me both have our preferences and society hasn't made it politically incorrect to have preferences, at least not yet. <laughs> But there are a few interesting differences that I found when speaking to Filipinas. A lot of Filipinas said that the attitude is one of the biggest factors that separate the younger and older Filipinas. But no matter the age, if you are dating a lady with a big attitude, your life force will be zapped out of you. The younger ladies tend to be a little bit more like this, while the older Filipinas usually have a little bit more of a laid back attitude and are are appreciative of a man's efforts. A lot of decent and mature women in the Philippines won't put up with any crap. Most know what they want and they're looking for something more than just a quick bang. The younger Filipinas tend to be slightly unsure of their future. Many have the desire to move to western countries and start earning money abroad and that's their focus. But it goes without saying that this is a general theme and is not based on any data but you will likely know what I'm talking about after spending time dating in the Philippines. But there are indeed pros and cons to both dating a younger and older Filipina. Personally, I can't deal with the complaining and the stress that comes with dating a woman who is not sure of what she wants. But a good friend of mine is in his 50s and is happily dating a 22 year old Filipina. So there you go, each to their own, I guess. This is the Bumble dating app. I put myself as a 55 year old gentleman living in the Philippines looking for a relationship and I wasn't successful on the app. So let's take a look at Facebook dating. Before I continue, I want to warn you about two very important things. If you plan to use this yourself, you will find that one, there are a lot of suggestible images on these Facebook groups, and two, a lot of profiles are fake and are complete scams. So the first group is called Helping Filipina for Foreigners and USA Dating. The first thing I noticed is that there are a lot of men posting selfies, but it seems to be working because there are a lot of comments from Filipinas. Oh, I like this comment. I hope you are real. 
says the person with no photo. But take a look at this, something else that I've always thought about is just how respectful people are in the Philippines. I mean, good luck sir, and enjoy. Oh look, it's Ray! Hello Ray! We as Americans do not need international passports to travel unless we're leaving our country. I have three passports. Two of them are expired and I received my brand new one. So if I tell you I'm going to travel to see you, I need it. Okay, 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 we, we don't want any trouble here, we're just enjoying the Facebook scroll. This group has a lot of men, so let's check out another. This group is called Filipina Single Mum Group Friendship Dating. So it seems that this group is a little bit more active with the female population. Oh, you know, I'm always suspicious of photos like this, taken from this angle super close up. It's like a dwarf taking a picture of their feet. Yeah, it's great, but uh, where's the rest of you hiding? Okay, let's check out another one. God, these comments are amazing. Looking so sexy. Hi, chubby. Welcome. Have a nice night. <laughs> Hi Chubby, welcome, have a nice night you role model. And I think that's enough Facebook for the time being. Do you remember that show Mythbusters? It's a show, if you haven't seen it, it's a show that tests famous myths and these are ranging from movie concepts to science to so much more. Well, it turns out that dating in the Philippines also has a lot of myths. Back in the day before technology and before the Philippines became a popular expat destination, dating was a little bit more old school. Times are changing in the Philippines and this has led to a lot of myths and beliefs about dating in the Philippines. As we found out in the last video, some people believe that Filipinas are poor and are uneducated. Now to clarify, there will always be people who struggle financially and do not have access to specialised education. But for the most part, education is not a problem and to be honest, resources is a problem for a lot of people globally, especially right now due to the ongoing inflation rates. Other myths are that Filipinas are innocent, submissive and don't believe in divorce. This might have its connections with religion but you will find that most ladies are very liberated and modern. If we're talking about in the bedroom, well that conversation is for another day but what I will say is that when you build a connection with a Filipina you will not encounter innocence or shyness. Some people nowadays are saying that Filipinas are not interested in their partner's money. They are defending a Filipina and saying that they don't care about the wealth of a foreigner. But why are we lying here? Okay, I get it. A small fraction of ladies look for love and they don't have any financial problems, so money is not important. But for the most part, money is a significant factor for women when they consider who their dating partner will be. Money talks. We all know this and and we all know women are attracted to money. It really gets on my tits when people say that women are not interested in money. They are. As one Filipina blogger puts it, not every Philippines woman is ready to enter a serious relationship with a man who has the wind in his pockets. That a, a friend on here tagged me in. Um, it was an angry white woman that was berating um, men, American men or foreign men, they go to F the Philippines or Thailand or wherever and, you know, get a wife. Um, she was saying that you're looking for a vulnerable woman that is impoverished so you can bring them back here and they won't have an opinion and you can control them and use them for relations and things like that. Um, what he did mention at one point is about bringing a Filipina back to the States. It recently got me thinking about a show that I recently watched called Love Don't Judge. Is Scott, he fell in love with, divine after she messaged him out of the blue on Facebook. So we have a US and a Philippines couple here and the show is about their relationship. 
One misconception that Divine believes people still have about her is that she is looking for a green card. Now even though this couple is young, Scott faces the same challenges and concerns that a lot of older guys face and this is why I bring up their story. From what I've seen, they appear to be a very legitimate and happy couple, but it is true that there are some Filipinas who are interested more in a green card and when you are in that moment, it's not not always clear to see. Taking into account the bigger picture, there are a lot more benefits for a Filipina to come to the US, the UK, Australia, etc. than there is Westerners going to live in the Philippines. So I can see why a green card is so appealing. So it's something to really think about. But if you don't see yourself living in the Philippines, then it can be a great choice for both parties. During the research phase, I always spend time searching the internet on stories that I can add to the video. But when it comes to finding information about dating an older Filipina, it's like trying to find a heartbeat in a graveyard. But interestingly enough, I found the best place is YouTube comments. I met my Filipina online while I was in the US. She was 50. I was 60. I have been here in the Philippines for seven years now. We have a great time together. I just recently married a Filipina that just turned 50. She is single and has never been married and has no kids. She is also a fairly successful sugarcane farmer. When she was 32 she was left at the altar by her former fiancé and shunned men ever since, until recently. She is slim, beautiful, and looks 20 years younger than her age. I feel like I hit the jackpot. Women like my wife are out there, you just got to find them. Why I feel you? comfortable. I feel comfortable when I meet a foreigner, then they had a full attention with you. Do I give you my full attention? I don't know. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. you like me? Sure did that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. The world is your oyster and the Philippines is the pearl waiting to be discovered. There are a few differences between dating an older and younger Filipina, but for the most part, it comes down to the person. What I have come to understand over the years is that most older Filipinas are a lot more grounded. We were all young once and not knowing what we wanted was part of the journey. This is how a lot of younger Filipinas feel, so if you find that you cannot connect or build anything with a younger Filipina, an older Filipina might be just what you need. 